As much as I'd love to believe that I'm a super clean and organized college student, I would be lying to myself. I wouldn't say I'm a college student where my room is trashed almost every day, but I do have my faults. But over the years, I've learned a couple of things about downsizing when it comes to clothes and even my workspace. When you go to YouTube and you search college room essentials, you'll see a whole bunch of YouTubers cashing out, saying what you need for your college room. But a harsh reality is, you really don't need the majority of the things they're talking about. So realistically, you know, let's say you have all the trinkets, you have the, the futon stretched out in your dorm, you know, and when you come in, it's just aesthetically pleasing. It's, it looks like, you know, this top-notch apartment. When you're coming home after, you know, being at the library, coming from a study group, and you have a test the next day, you have a lot of stuff to get over. You're gonna have to jump over the futon. And if you have a roommate, you have to figure out how to get into the bed off the futon. So let's say, you know, you wake up one morning and you're late for class. You have 14 pairs of shoes, 50 pairs of clothes, um, all crammed up in this one closet. You know, you're gonna be searching, trying to find the perfect outfit. No, you're not. So realistically, you have to downsize. You have, you have to come to the realization that I don't need as many things as, you know, as advertised. But there are a couple things that uh, I've learned, you know, um, throughout the years that have helped me decrease the amount of clutter in, in my dorm room. Number one, clothing. So with, with clothing, you know, I bring the clothes into my room when I'm get done with my laundry, and the, the thing I automatically do is dump them on my bed. That's not the greatest thing, and I still do it to this day. I have to force myself to fold them or put them up on a hanger or fold my socks, put my pants up. I still have to convince myself to do that. But when I was a freshman, I brought basically my whole closet with me thinking I was just gonna be the most stylish dude every day, you know. But when you're in, doing stuff for an 8 a.m., you're not gonna wanna do that. One of the things that I've done is I've decreased the amount of clothes that I bring to school. Now I have limited my, my clothing selections. I have a brown t-shirt, I have a black t-shirt, and I have a white t-shirt and a gray t-shirt, and I have a couple of those so where I can just pick it out and have the same type of pants that I wear and the same type of shoes. Um, and it may be different, you know, for your fashion styles, but I don't need a full sweater right now. I don't need, you know, boots right now. I'll switch them out when the seasons begin to change, but I don't need all those things all at once. If you are someone who's coming from, you know, out of state, invest in some bins. Some bins are some perfect things that you can have. You can just pull it out and switch from summer clothes to the to the fall or winter clothes. Also, I purchased a small shoe rack that I can just put my shoes on. I have a, a tendency of just kicking off my shoes, sort of leaving them there. But if you don't have a roommate, that's probably not gonna be the best thing. So having a shoe rack, putting your shoes in there. So when you actually get home from class, you, know, you can just put your shoes in the closet and then be done with it. The second thing, my workspace. I have an interesting relationship with my workspace. Um, you might know it as a, a desk. My desk is cluttered sometimes. The majority of the time is cluttered. When I'm working late into the night, I'll have wrappers, I'll have something I've been drinking, and inevitably I'm going to be eating at my desk because I don't want to walk away just to come back and try to work again when I've been in the zone. A couple things that I've, I've really started doing is like cable management, putting cables in Ziploc baggies, um, iPhone cables, everything, like hide as many cables as possible. You know, if you don't have the Ziploc baggies that you can store away, ultimately people don't like to talk about it, but cables, they cause a distraction. And I'm fumbling with cables, trying to get it out of my way, I'm trying to work on something, I'm gonna get flustered a little bit. Secondly, I would have little, uh, little hangers, like command hooks, put it on the side of my desk so I can hang cables there, you know, maybe an iPhone cable, something that I use frequently. And I also have this thing where I um, put my headphones on. If you use headphones, I don't like to just sit them straight on the desk. So I put the headphones on, on the little rack that I have and I keep them there. So when I need them, I put them on. When I don't need them, I take them off and I leave them there. Those are the two main things that I personally deal with and I think that really cause clutter in a dorm room. Put into consideration that I might not need all the fancy trinkets and all the little the high tech technology right now. I just need what I need. I think that's the main thing. I need what I need. So to 
until next time, declutter, keep grinding. This is.